introduction before we get deeper in the video. So my name is Trisha and I am a secondary school student and the reason I've started this YouTube channel is that I want to help others and I want others to get inspired by what I do so that they can go further in what they are planning to do and what they are looking forward to do. So basically, if you guys have anything you want me to answer or do in a video, you guys can definitely drop it down in the comment section and I'm more than excited to answer them and I'll definitely help you if I can. So today's video is on what's on my phone. So I'm currently having an iPhone 7 that was passed down from my dad, which is still in good condition and still usable. So without further ado, let's get started in the video. Alright guys, so let's now check out what's on my phone. So as you can see as the wallpaper lock screen, it's a July wallpaper that I will change monthly um, depending on which one I like more. So I will definitely link it in my description below. So don't hesitate to go there and just click the link and choose your design. So it's pretty simple and I change it monthly. All right, so inside my phone, it's really simple. I have this Sage Green Love wallpaper, which I am in love with because I love Sage Green. So on the left widget side at the top, I have my, my Shazams that I put and then following by a calendar just in case I missed out any um, important events that I can always check on following by a bible verse whenever um, in the morning I can just swipe there and read it and then uh, I have just a tap to shazam so I can shazam my songs easily and I don't have to click anything else or go into the app so that's really simple and following by on my first page I have this uh, Widget Smith uh, calendar plus date and date which I love because you can customize it by yourself depending on the font you like, the style you like and also the color you like. You can even put pictures up to you. And then at the bottom, uh, I have my most used apps which are settings, clock, camera, my suggestion because of this pandemic, app store, email, Safari and photos. So these are uh, my most used app which I would really really use it most often than the other apps. So therefore it's on the first page. And then following to the bottom I have my social medias which are TikTok, Snapchat, YouTube and Instagram. So um, these apps are my social medias which I use most of the time when I'm free. So I just left it there because I think it will be easier for me to use and it will be a bit separated. And beside it, I have a small tree line quote using Widget Smith as well as I said. You can also customize your text putting anything well here. I have put you're doing great. And at the bottom, I have put my WhatsApp which is commonly used messages which i don't use a lot but yes i still put it there because sometimes when you need very few codes and stuff it comes from there next to it i have facetime and phone call that are the most um recent and most commonly used apps that i use and i'm sure everyone out there uses them too so yeah next let's move on to my second page on my second page at the top left i've put a widget so I like to have pictures that matches my theme, which is Sage Green Tea, as all of you guys know as I started this video. So I put a Sage Green picture from Pinterest that I really love, and it's a handbag plus a glasses. Next to it, I have a Zoom, Chrome, Cam Scanner, and Schoology. So these apps are basically um, sort of more productive apps and more schooling apps, which uh, I use. and. Um, if you guys are wondering what Schoology is, the platform that my school uses, so therefore I have um, downloaded it so that I could just use it and access it through my phone. And Cam Scanner is just an app for me to scan my homework and submit it to my teachers. And Zoom is, um, I'm sure it's a very commonly used app as well for this pandemic situation where you go for online classes with your teacher so therefore it's on my phone just in case my computer doesn't cooperate and my phone can use it and then at the bottom of that four apps i have another photo which is a butterfly wing photo which i am in love with it as well because it's so sharp and beautiful 
and it's also from Pinterest. Almost all my pictures that I have on my phone is from Pinterest, so you guys can go check it out on Pinterest. Next to it, I have four apps which are also productive apps, which are Kahoot, which I use for quizzes from school, Calendar Buddy, which I use to track my tasks, homework and overdue words and as well as pleco which is helping me in mandarin in terms of words i don't understand how to read i can always search it up there and it will tell me the meaning and also how to pronounce it next i have jokes which i always always use it when i listen to music so therefore i just put it there so it's easy for me to access and listen to music and at the bottom again i have another widget with this girl holding her drink and wearing a sage green jacket which is so pretty so i also found this from pinterest and i already said that all my pictures are from pinterest next to it i have pinterest i have drive emphasis and math so pinterest um is really good at where i can find most of my pictures that i want which are really really beautiful which you also can find on google but I think Pinterest has more choices depending on what you like to search. And then Drive is just Google Drive where I save all my Google documents and stuff so that I could upload to my teacher or save it for my own purposes or even teacher slide that is given to me for me to save up. And then we have Emphasis. Emphasis is a really good app when you want to study. It's a Pomodoro timer where you can set uh, how long you like to study how long you like to break and a long break or a short break so i think it's really good if you want to set a pomodoro timer when you're studying next to it we have math so math is an app for mathematics you know when you have equations that you can't solve or you need more examples on how to solve it you can always use that app because i think it is really really good um, for you to use if you're having struggles in your math solving questions that's the end of the home screen that i have on my phone so moving on i have just all these categorized um, apps that this apple device has helped me categorize which i don't actually use it often so i've kept it there just um in case i need it and i can still check it out but then if i don't i'll just leave it there and i won't touch it anymore Alright guys, so that's the end of my video for today and I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up and also turn on those notifications to get notified when I post a new video. That's all and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!